Yeah, I got it. This is my ticket to Cali. Uh, yeah, it was horrible. It is uh, now six o'clock in the morning, and I had a, a big problem in the airport because uh, uh, two days ago I booked my flight to Cali, but uh, I got a message back that I mail that uh, my payment was accepted, but it was not accepted, and now I want to make a check-in to get my ticket, and they told me my payment was not accepted and they wanted to charge me for extra uh, extra pesos and I explained them that no, maybe your uh, website doesn't work, it's not my fault and yeah, that was the first thing. The second thing, they accept just a hand luggage. Hand luggage means a bag like this, like my head and um, more, maybe a little bit uh, bigger but uh, my backpack is maybe the half of my body so I decided to wear all of my clothes and now I am like Joy Tribbiani one, two, three and I have one more, four four t-shirts plus this one and, and the jumper on my back uh, yeah, I'm a little bit crazy the lady by the control, she was laughing about me why I have so many clothes, I explained to her that yeah, because of the luggage I don't want to uh, pay for my clothes extra so I decided to wear them yeah, this is my life, never boring yeah, in Cali I already booked the hostel the hostel is very nice uh, I paid just 7, seven euros for a night and the best thing is they have a nice garden with a pool so if I don't know what to do then I can hang out by the pool and I hope I'm gonna find some people some nice people like yesterday and yeah this is the next thing yesterday I decided to make uh, one more step uh, yeah I need to make my trip a little bit faster uh, because I want to go to Bolivia Bolivia is close to the Machu Picchu and to Titicaca lake and I want to see the Titicaca and the Machu Picchu too and of course if I am next to, next to them I need to go uh, to Bolivia there is a very beautiful salt desert everything white and I think I need it it was actually on my to-do list but I, I cancelled now I know what uh, I'm gonna do and that I, I need to be a little bit faster I can't hang out on places like Cartagena so long um, yeah but two, two, two days it was enough and not too much now is the boarding time this is my plan and I'm going to Cali now bye bye this crazy air condition is so strong. Oh my god. So I landed now in Cali. Now I'm sitting in a bus waiting that we leave and now I'm going to take another bus and go to the hostel that I booked yeah, the bus is easy, the flight is okay see you later Okay, now I am in a bus terminal in Cali and uh, now I need to take another bus uh, A04 uh, but first I need to eat something I got with a bus very easily here I paid like 5,000 uh, pesos uh, it takes like 2 dollars from the airport to get here to the bus terminal and now I'm gonna take the, another bus uh, it's gonna take uh, maybe uh, 20 minutes to get to the to get to the hostel what I already booked and it cost again like uh, 5,000 uh, pesos okay see you later guys yeah finally I got food um, for 5,000 pesos I got a nice food and uh, after eating I'm gonna take the bus and go to the hostel it looks very nice and it's very cheap and my friend is next to me, my backpack. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, finally I arrived to my next hostel in Cali. Uh, I'm gonna spend here one night, only one night, because tomorrow I already checked it out on the, um, on the bus terminal. I need to leave early in the morning to Ecuador because it takes like nine hours with the bus from Cali to Ecuador. Yeah, it's a long trip and today I decided just to have a nap, just uh, relax, chill and maybe learn a poquito Espanol. Yeah, this is a pool, uh, it looks perfect. This is the reason why I decided for this hostel, because usually the hostels they don't have a pool, or if they have, they have a whale sheet one. But this one looks like in the movies, like a very professional one. So I already love it, this hostel is beautiful. I'm still here, I'm still chilling, and uh, yeah, I decided to leave tomorrow in the morning at uh, four. At 4 leaves the bus, it means I need to wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and I was thinking about what to do in the bus tomorrow but uh, 9 hours long plus uh, 6 it means uh, 15 hours long tomorrow in the bus uh, I want to sleep tomorrow in the bus It's gonna be maybe the most boring day tomorrow of the most boring day of my trip but uh, I don't care uh, in two days I can do Ecuador and in three days I'm gonna be in Montanita. place to, to have a nap and uh, I'm enjoying now relaxing in the most comfortable bed in the world I think so nice here oh my god I could stay here forever <laughs> oh my god no problems just me and my life I love my life I love my life. Oh, I just woke up. Uh, now it's lying on the sun like uh, one and a half hour uh, long and now I need to drink something and after to do a little bit workout because now when I am uh, on my way I don't have a opportunity to go to the gym so I need to do my workout by myself uh, kind of uh, crossfit push-ups uh, swimming running everything what I can do
finish. I need to get tired for tomorrow for the long trip in the bus. I need to sleep. <laughs> the place here is beautiful. I don't even want to go out. I just went to the supermarket to buy some uh, water and some uh, food. And today the whole day I'm gonna spend next to the pool and in the garden. You need also a recovery day and today is a recovery day because tomorrow I need to get ready because tomorrow I go to Ecuador it takes like uh, 14 hours to get to the capital of Ecuador, to Quito uh, it takes like 8 hours from here to the border and at the border you need to change uh, yeah, you should walk on the border and uh, you should get a taxi and to get uh, to the terminal and take another uh, bus and it takes like six hours from the border to get to the Quito to the capital horrible the sun is going down and Sasha is going to eat something it's time to have a dinner uh, yeah I saw some cheap places here in the near I really need to care about my money because and the most money I'm spending on traveling and like the flight tickets tomorrow, I know the bus ticket, 50 euro, 40 or 50, I don't know. But here we can save on the food. Finally, I found a beautiful restaurant. Like first, I'm gonna take a soup. It looks very good. And a long, long time I didn't have a soup. Uh, I think I remember last time in Miami, like one month ago. And now it's time to eat a soup again. I need something warm. Tomorrow in a bus, I think I'm gonna eat some uh, empanadas and some cakes, maybe a chocolate or maybe a burger or maybe a sandwich so tonight I need to eat something warm they also gave me a nice lemonade and uh, I'm gonna try it now yeah, I found out the soup, what I eat was uh, Patagon soup it tastes really nice and now I got the next one it's a chicken with rice, with beans, with patagon, with potato and with ensalada and I don't know what is this one let's try it mm, I don't know what is it but it's good mm. Mm, something sweet but it's good mm, I love this country Ooh. I'm so full I can't even move yeah. Um, yeah the food was great and now I went to shop I bought uh, some mango for uh, breakfast tomorrow it looks really nice and look at this how, how big is it uh, almost like my hand and I bought some carrots I'm not a rabbit but my friend Orsi showed me how to hold a diet and if you are hungry you should eat uh, uh, you should eat uh, carrots and the next one that I bought is a big bread it's a nice bread actually nice bread with cheese uh, it's a uno pan con queso uh, this is uh, the last option if I get hungry in a bus and then I'm gonna eat it oh my god mm, but it, it smells good yeah and now it's already uh, darkness so let's go home I live like uh, two minutes from here. Um, yeah, don't be scared, Alex. Everything is okay. Everything's gonna be alright. After all of that, what I heard about Colombia, I should be scared now. But I'm a strong man, I'm a strong boy. I'm a big boy, I don't care, I am not afraid, I'm not afraid, haha! <laughs> I 
finally it's the end of the day and I'm taking a shower but this time uh, with the shampoo I found it here and um, it, it smells very nice it smells like tutti frutti uh, so I'm gonna smell like uh, tutti frutti I hope uh, long 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 uh, because tomorrow I don't know if I'm gonna have an opportunity to take a shower. This is the third day. The first two days uh, I was taking a shower but without shampoo. Uh, it's not the best uh, experience. Um, yeah, I really needed a towel but uh, I don't have any anymore because I left it uh, last time on the airport because my bag was too heavy. Um, now I'm gonna use the sheets uh, from the bed. Uh, yeah, who cares? It's not mine. I don't sleep in this bed tonight, uh, so I can use the sheets like a towel. And tomorrow we will see. I hope I will get the same opportunity like now. It's a nice bathroom, and the best thing is the shampoo. I can't wait. Okay, let's go. Yeah, now is the end of the day and um, I'm not gonna sleep now. Uh, I just want to show you uh, that I still have the stick and that it still works. Paul van Dijk would be happy if he would see it. Um, maybe he's watching. <laughs> Tomorrow I leave the hostel at 3.30. Uh, I need to take a cab to get to the terminal again. It's gonna take like... A uh, it costs 9,000 pesos, it takes like how much? 4, four euros. Um, yeah, I'm gonna close now my diary, thank you for watching, see you by next time guys, see you later, alligator. Don't forget to watch me tomorrow, bye bye, ciao ciao.